Good lesson here for junior golfers. One of the most common faults with junior golfers is that they create, uh, they, in creating their speed, they create a very fast hip rotation and transition. Say good when you're a junior golfer to create some club head speed, but eventually you need to learn to match up your body and your arms a little more to create some consistency. So using this player as an example, you can see his, his first movement in this transition, which it should be, your hips should be going first, but too much separation between the speed of the hips and the speed of the arms. The hips are almost, even though the arms are at the top of the backswing, their hips are now open to the target. Weight is spinning back into the left heel. You can see that by the left toe coming off the ground. Arms get out away from the body, resulting in an open club face. And he's got a lot of uh, club face rotation to catch up. He's got to use his hands very quickly through the ball to square the club face. Great speed, but doesn't create much consistency. If you saw a current swing of this player just recently, you'll see that these aspects have improving a lot. But the tendency is still there. There's still a little too much difference between the speed of his hips to the speed of his arms. His hips out raise his arms slightly, even though it's better. There's still a tendency for the weight to be spinning back towards the left heel. Arms to get a, away from the body, club face get a little bit open. So improving, but still some progress needed. If this is you, this is a good drill. Um, taking you through from the start, what I want you to do is line up the golf ball with your left toe, taking a slightly narrower stance than normal. And we're going to do two things. After we've made our, a normal backswing, we're going to step to the side. This will help the weight shift into the left foot. And number two, we're going to step slightly forward. So it's to the side and forward. This helps to stabilize the hips, allows the arms to come down, matching the arms with the body. So now the arms can come down more on plane, closer to the body. Club face stays square. So simply can square the club face through impact with body rotation rather than the hands and arms having to, to catch up and rotate the club face quickly. A simple drill for any, mainly junior golfers out there, but anybody who's struggling with their body speed too fast compared to the arm speed. Uh, it can also help weight shift. Anybody's hanging back on the right foot. Maybe anybody's getting their arms stuck behind their body because, again, their arms are too slow relative to their body. It's a simple drill for you to be trying in your next practice session and uh, helping to, say, match up your arms to the body.